Okay, so I wanted to show you guys something. So I'm looking at the supported radios. So here's the, the Radtel list. But, um, so what I found, um, was this, uh, Rayage, one of these ones. Uh, apparently will program the Radtel. Um, what's also strange is the Radtel has a thing on the screen that calls it a UV five something so that makes sense um now let me pull up and give credit where credit's due um let's see if we can find this until okay so the guy on amazon wrote a review and i'd already seen it before but for some reason I forgot that he mentioned it was programmable under a different name. So, um, okay, where is, I normally don't navigate this on my phone, or on the computer, nine ratings, okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus Christ. Okay. So, who is this guy? Um, Jesus. Just stupid. Frickin'. Amazon's website is really difficult on a PC, in my opinion. It's like, where did my reviews go? So, nine ratings. Okay. It's GS says, feature rich, nearly perfect entry level HT. Um, he explains the same thing about the airband. Basically, it works good, but you need a better antenna. Basically, it's not sensitive. Um, so he says, uh, Chirp Next project has corrected some formatting issues, so adding importing channel memories from other HTs is way easier now. No issue going back and forth between Chirp or the proprietary software. Like it so much, I bought a second one. Um, Uh, while it's supported by Chirp Next, use Rayage UV58+. Plus. The file format in Chirp is missing some columns that the proprietary software freely available at radtel.com includes. If reading a Chirp-made configuration uses proprietary software, you will get a read error. The proprietary software also lets you customize the boot image, boot message, and some minor UI color tweaks. Would be nice. Why does this thing keep doing that? Um, lovely. Okay. Would be nice if... Chirp project was a little more aligned. Anyway, so with that said, we're going to go and try and do that. Okay, get my radio plugged in. Go ahead and open Chirp. Hey, sorry, my, my voice is a little raspy. I came down with some kind of COVID like crap. I don't know what it is. Okay. Download from radio. Okay. Rouge. EV E plus. It's the only one that, that's on there. Oh, look at that. I'll be damned. So that makes this completely a different deal here than if we can program this with chirp. Um so as we see we're reading the radio. Okay, let's go ahead and save this to 
Save as. Where'd it go? Okay. Rad tell. So, um, let's see what kind of settings we have in here that we can get to. Uh, basic settings are like ones I want to know. Um, voice prompt, work mode, frequency. Um, you would have to change this if you want channel mode. It's apparently no way to do that from the radio, from what I can tell. Um, it's really weird. Okay, so just the usual stuff. Yeah, so you can change the border color. I'm not going to get into all that. Um, looks like it should cover 220. I would think. TX, RX, that's what it says. So, let's go back into here. Radio, query data source. Peter Buck, amateur, um, 200 miles, in these certain bands, we uncheck all these other bands, we want 2 meters, 1.2 and 70 centimeters, and since we have a lot of memories here, we should be able to get everything in here. Now I'm going to go a little further than 200. I'm going to go 300. Just want to see what it will pull up. Okay, so. This should be a lot. We have 326 memories. Um, so let's try this again. We want to, like, so we have 900 and something, you know, menus. Menus. Memories. Let's take advantage of that. If we put our distance a little further from where I'm at, I should be able to get California and Utah and uh, New Mexico in here as well. Okay, so will we do 300, how many miles? Um, let's go 500 and just see what it pulls up. Click OK. And that pulls up a lot of crap. So we got to redo this because it's pulling up the 900 megahertz band. Okay, computer book. Okay, only certain bands. Only certain modes. So if you don't do that, then you're going to pull up DMR stuff, fusion stuff. So at 500 miles, we still have 378. Okay, so K7RDG, that's uh, Cochise. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and write that to the radio. Oh wait, we can't do that like that. I forgot. So in order to write this to the radio, we gotta go in here, highlight the first one, click select all, and click copy. Then we'll go uh, here. Highlight that one, click paste, and yes, we will overwrite 12 memories. Boom. Okay. Now, upload to the radio. Okay. So, that's a lot of memories. Now, what I'm curious is, since I don't have a way to go from VFO mode to memory mode on the radio that I know of, um, I don't know if I have to go in and write it here in my settings. So, I, I think we might have to. Okay. Where are we at? So we got frequency mode. Channel. Okay. Um, upload to the radio. So once we do that, then it should 
show us the channel, but I I tried pushing every key, long pressing every key. On so I got kicked out of my video because the memory card ran out of space. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you guys. So what this does is this is really a game changer. It shows you the name. It shows you the frequency down below. And you can put 999 memories in here. You can see both the VFO A and B. It'd be um, in channel mode instead. But that gives me the name and the frequency. So what I did was here, and I go into here, and I changed it, work mode from frequency to channel. I don't know how to shift this thing from that, but basically um, now we can literally go in the repeater book and just drag as many things as we want in here. So like if I want to, you know, put 900 something things in here, I can do that. But what I found is just even looking for 500 miles. Um, for my zip code, there's only 378. So, that's still pretty good. But it's also a lot to scan through. So, that's another thing to keep in mind. But that that does uh, make this radio probably worth keeping. Because you just have to program it as the Rayage UV58+. Plus, and now you have USB-C, 999 memories, chirp programmability, and dual display. So, that's pretty cool. I mean, look at that. That's awesome.